So today we're going to play a little game. It's called Who's the Dumbest Person You Know? How many times has that person commented on my YouTube videos? Now, if you know me, if you've listened to my podcast, they're all available on YouTube. You can go back and watch them. You would know I don't have the highest opinions or expectations of your average person walking around town because your average person still to this day, to me, sorry to sound like a prick, remains a Big Bang Theory laugh track imbecile who lacks any sort of semblance of critical thinking or analytical abilities. How do you like that? Happy New Year. Like that guy you see down the block with the groceries. If I had to guess, that guy drives slow in the left lane, clogging up traffic, not realizing that car after car after car. I know you guys don't have those things, so maybe this is a foreign concept to you, but car after car after car, car is going in front of them. And it's all because of them. They have no clue that it's them. They don't try to get out of the lane. That's my opinion of your average person. It's unfortunate that I think that way, but that's been... <laughs> accrued from a lifetime of looking around and seeing things. What kinds of things? Oh, I don't know, like some of the YouTube comments from yesterday that literally was like a stick holding my eyes open with blood coming out. Do you know how stupid you have to be? Like bottom of the barrel donkey to which the likes of this world has never seen. Like a horror movie donkey. Like the horse from the dead army in Game of Thrones type of donkey with half the skin falling off. That's how stupid you would have to be to lose on that Washington Capitals. Do you understand that the closest thing you'll ever get to a guaranteed source of winning in any sport is when you have plus money on both sides of a bet. The second I gave that bet, right after that, the Capitals lost seven of eight. The bet was plus 170. The other way was plus 400. It's guaranteed winnings. You literally have to be the dumbest of the dumb sports bettors to think that that's a losing bet. Why do you guys come here? Do you guys come here for, I already told you, your virtual Vikings. Those angry commenters are angry for one reason. They want as much money as possible, but they're Vikings. They don't come to it with any sort of analytical or intelligent approach. They reeve, they pillage, they want the funds, and then they want to run and do God knows what outside of this channel. So you would think that guaranteed money is something that would appeal to them, which is why I said I placed the bet because there will never be an easier bet to hedge because the Capitals are underdogs in every single game other than one for the rest of the way. And in the event you need to guarantee yourself massive income, just go back-to-back -back money lines, which you could have done on Monday, which I did do on Monday. To think that I would have lost on this bet, you have to be so dumb that if like Jordan Peele had one of those types of movies and the sports books, yeah, how's this for a horror movie concept? The sports books would be bidding on you because they want the dumbest people who they can extract the most money from. Now they're just going to go right to the comments of that video because they think that a bet like that, the Capitals to miss the playoffs at plus 170, when it was plus 400 to make it the other way, is a losing bet. It's literally the polar opposite. It was a guaranteed win. And if you don't understand what I just told you, then you've once again proven how much of a donkey that you actually are. Let me dumb things down to your literal, like, canine dog level. How about this? You have a friend named Dan, and you have a friend named Dave. You give both of them $1,000. If Dan comes back, then he brings your 1000 back and another 1700 If Dave comes back, he brings your 1000 back and another 4050 And here's the kicker. One of them's guaranteed to come back. Did you lose money? What an imbecile you are. I just feel bad because now your parents know you're never going to have that white collar job. You're never actually going to be that thing that they hope for because they're going to go to the comment section of yesterday's video and realize, my God, he couldn't even realize to guarantee himself money. Like so, some, you better hope whatever girl you're interested in never sees that because now like, he's not fit to be my husband. This guy's going to manage our finances. Can't even manage a single bet that he's guaranteed money from. What an idiot. Oh. You are an embarrassment if you think that in any way, shape, or form, the Capitals bet was a losing bet. If I told you that the Portland Trailblazers, I liked them to win the series at plus 170, and they won games one, two, and three, and ended up losing the series, and you lost money, do you know truly how stupid you are? Go right to that Jordan Peele movie, because that's you. Oh my God, Andy, I mean, th these are some mean things you're saying. 
Well, report the video to YouTube so somebody can come review yesterday's comments and they can have an absolute laugh. <laughs> And how's that? Well, this guy will never be working at Google. He can't figure that out. He ain't ever coming here. And you're immediately on the never work at Google list. But then again, you're never going to work at Google. You never had your car. On to more things you don't know about. And that is this Thursday slate. We went nuts on that slate yesterday. Hit all those overs. We got Arizona. We got Crosby. We got a ton. We missed a little sprinkle here and there. And then somebody will complain. Like somebody had the audacity on the Patreon. After three straight days of plus 1,000s, we had that Capitals Day, and then this guy starts jabbing at me? Who the hell do you think you are? Because you paid the price of a Taco Bell meal? You think I owe you anything? So you want to know what I did? I kicked him off. I'm keeping his $20. I ordered Crest 3D toothpaste because I like this concept of booting somebody off and then using their money to buy something completely arbitrary. I'm going to brush my teeth and I like knowing that that guy paid for my teeth being just a shade whiter because I haven't liked the slight gray tone to him in these last couple of years. So we're going to up the toothbrushes per week, and it's all going to be because of that Patreon donkey who I had to kick out of there yesterday. Oh, by the way, going back to that, I didn't tell you guys. I hit the plus thousand on Saturday. Hit the plus thousand Sunday. Hit the plus thousand money. I'm actually being kind. It was plus 1,400, plus 1,100, plus 1,000. And then I missed, and then that guy complained. Banned him, ordered my toothpaste. And what happened last night? Another plus 1,200. Bunting for two points and Malkin for two points against the Islanders in a game that I knew meant nothing. So four out of five days over plus 1,000. All those overs you asked for yesterday. There's a reason you're here. There's a reason you're leaving comments. And there's a reason this is the most watched hockey show. I wish it was just for the entertainment. But unfortunately, it's because the Reavers, Rapers, and Digital Vikings know this is the only chance where they're going to get the good shit. And I know how many of you don't even bet on other sports anymore. And just, just know I can giveth and I can taketh away. <laughs> Somebody on that Patreon a couple days ago said, man, I can't wait for Andy's monologue tomorrow. Well, it was one of those delayed monologues because I didn't even think I needed to explain myself. The Capitals bet was a win. Then the other donkey who goes all his futures lost. Yep, they all lost. The Connor Hellebuck plus 300 to win the Vezina. He's minus 600 now. That one lost. The Dallas Stars plus 220. They never won the division or anything. So even if you are as dumb as you, and you just did 100 on all four of those, those two that I just mentioned, and Washington, and Carolina, you still won money, even though you're an imbecile and didn't know how to hedge the last two, which were also guaranteed wins, then yes. Now, I just address your claims, and now you're never going to address mine because there is no answer. There's no answer. You're an absolute donkey. You come here for wins. You were given wins, and you didn't know what to do with them. So onto this slate where you will continue to know nothing and hope that I'm kind enough to give you some deli slices. And somebody said, oh, well, why are you, what are these deli slices? Well, this is a different kind of imbecile. You ever go to a deli? How do you think you get your cold cuts? They slice them. When I give out some quick picks, those are thin cut deli slices, boar's head, Genoa salami. So on this <laughs> Thursday night, you guys like that? Tell me. I wouldn't be. The thing is, you can't have me on TV. I know you want me on TV. You think ESPN's letting me say that? Imagine the meeting when I go in there. And you know what I love? That somebody's livid that zero picks it. Now I'm just going to keep talking about that. You imagine I went in there on that ESPN interview and they, they're going to be reviewing my videos the same way that YouTube's going to be reviewing your idiotic comments. Andy, what, what what do you have to say for yourself here? I, I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the people at ESPN your idiotic take. They're gonna be like, they didn't make money. You know what? You're hired, Andy. You're hired. We don't care that you said those things. I couldn't think of somebody who deserved it any more than those absolute imbecile donkeys who didn't know how to guarantee themselves money on a double plus going both ways. Oh. Now we can go on to those Thursday games. Like last night, we got some that don't matter. A lot of it means nothing. It's going to be a lot of resting, a lot of fluff. We're not going to know the lineups. But the two games where we pretty much do know the lineups are the two games where Western Conference seeding is still up for grabs. And that's the Golden Knights. They're playing the Ducks. 
and then the Kings are playing the Blackhawks. So two teams who need to sort out their seed against the absolute bottom dwellers. And as you've seen these last couple of nights, when you need to secure a division or you need to secure home ice, it's not the easiest task. I mean, I always tell you guys with the money lines and everything, but you're talking about Dallas trailing in the third period yesterday, one to nothing. They end up winning two to one in a shootout. Or you can even look at Vegas beating down two to one in the third period. Or look at the Boston Bruins game against Ottawa, two to one in the third. Ottawa ends up winning. They tend to be of the ass cheek variety because those teams really just want to secure it. And if Vegas wins at home against Anaheim, they will secure the quote unquote easier bracket. I know you're not supposed to use that term, but I'm going to use that term the easier side of the bracket for them. And if they lose that game and the Kings are able to beat the Blackhawks at home, then they return back to that side of the bracket. But for them, I don't know how good of a side that is, being that they'll just be playing Edmonton, who's eliminated them two straight years in the playoffs, and Edmonton would have home ice yet again. So I don't know. If you're the Kings, I, don't, I really don't know. Maybe you're just looking for a fresh start. You don't mind actually trying to take out Dallas. But in these games, they really are closer to the clenched ass cheek variety. So what I'm going to try to do is is isolate some players on the other teams, the under on their point props, and maybe the goal totals. Now, these are the worst teams in the league, so we're not going to get great goal totals. I'll go under two and a half goals for the Anaheim Ducks. But really, you want to know, forget about that. Let's just go OG. I'm doing the throwback to 2022. There's no better bet I would love to end on than the under on half of a point for Ryan Strom, under on half of a point for Alex Kalorn. You guys know, I mean, there's not a ton of strategy other than I want two guys to pick, and I do think they're two of the lesser talented players on that team. Although I know Kalorn gets plenty of top line, top power play opportunity. I'm still betting against him. I'm thinking Vegas plays a similar game like they did last game. One, two goals max, hoping those two guys are off. The I should probably take correlated players. Oh no, I'm dead set. Kalorn, Strom, the unders on both of them for plus money. And then on the other side, I would love to take under two and a half goals for Chicago. We're not going to get any. I think we literally have to take under one and a half goals for plus money against the L.A. Kings. I'm willing to throw that out there. The Kings will probably try to win this in a similar fashion that Vegas won it the other night. Two to one, three to one, something like that. Two to one, three to one, something like that. And I'm going to take that along with the under half of a point for Nick Felino. So if you want to do the under two and a half, combine that with Nick Felino or Maybe we'll, let's try that under one and a half for plus money. But in all honesty, th none of that. Neither of those two games excite me. Your average guy, Dan, highway guy, they're all betting on those two games. You know what I'm looking at. I gave you guys this. The Reavers, Rapers, they went into the weekend, had themselves a great time because teams like the Flames, playing teams like the Ducks, or playing teams like the Sharks, we got Sharks, Flames, meaningless hockey. You saw what happened to the Sharks the other night. So you guys know what to do. I'm not even saying it anymore. I'll get, I'll just start. I'll start the sentences. Eklund, Zetterlin, Kadri, Kuzmenko, one point, two point, assist point, but up and down the block. I'll, I'll, I'll make the assortment for you, but you know where they'll be. Toothpaste Central, a.k.a. Patreon.com slash Andy Francis, where I post all my extra stuff and where I communicate more frequently and update the threads every day. But if you're going to be a prick, you're paying for my next toothpaste or whatever the hell it is that I desire, that's $20 or under. Anyway, good luck to you. Better luck to me. There's always tomorrow, donkeys. You know, go buy some of those Sudoku things that I see people playing on the sub. Get the part of your brain flowing that learns how to make money because clearly it ain't there yet. I will see you tomorrow when I got Josh talking about playoffs. Take it easy and good luck.